I love Dora Carrington. I've read numerous books about her, including her letters, which I thoroughly recommend. Uh, her letters also include some of the sketches that she sent with her letters. But I'm only now getting around to reading or having just read The Art of Dora Carrington. This is by Jane Hill with a foreword by Michael Holroyd. And this was published originally in 1994. I think this version was published or, or printed in 1996. And as you can imagine, it takes us through Carrington's art from her school days and prizes that she won through her time at Slade. And then how her life was shaped by her art and how her art was shaped by her life. And I won't go through every single page. I just thought I'd do a brief overview for anybody who's considering getting this. Basically, my summary is definitely get it. If you're a fan of Carrington, this is a much must read. It's also a delightful way to get a deeper insight into some of her work, the techniques she used. Uh, and also the reception of other people at the time on her art and how she uh, appreciated other artists' work and, and where her influences came from. So the book itself, obviously, absolutely gorgeous design. Uh, it does look at her personal life, but I feel like it doesn't go into as much detail about, for example, her love of Strachey. I feel like this is not the book to get a really deep look at her life or what her life became. Um, I would definitely suggest reading some other books around this and indeed, as I said, Carrington's Letters, which are just an absolute delight. Uh, and we have a, a mention of the film as well with Emma Thompson as Carrington, which is beautiful if you haven't seen it. I did not pay fourteen ninety nine for this. Um, I don't know how much it was, I can't remember. But I'd say it's worth it completely. So... As you can see, we have this beautiful layout. It's, it's basically chronological. It starts with, just find this. We do have pictures of Carrington, which is lovely. And what's interesting is in a lot of the pictures, she's not looking at the camera, which I think is very fascinating and says a lot about how Carrington perceives herself uh, and her willingness to give away some of herself when there are cameras around. I'm trying to find the first page. Here we go. Yes, yeah, so we have... Carrington, um, second row, extreme right. And then it takes us through chronologically, mostly about her art, um, but there are bits of her personal life. But as I said, it's not, it's not the book I'd recommend if you want to learn about her life. It is, of course, about her art. And we have another picture of Carrington there. But obviously one can't talk about Carrington's art without discussing the people in her life and how they influenced her work. We have information about Ham Spray and Tidmarsh, which I have passed. Um, but it's beautiful, as you can see. We have a really nice mix of photographs from the time. And then some of her larger paintings. There we have the one of uh, Strachey, which is also on the front woodcuts, sketches that accompanied some of her letters. One of my favourite photos of Carrington. She really was a, a tremendous, tremendous personality. Actually, I want to show you one that really, really thoroughly entertained me. Uh, I think it's quite near the beginning. There, here we go. I just, I just found that to be an absolute delight. I'll let you read that. But her work is just in incredible. I mean, the pictures, the photos of her working are so mesmerising. Very, very well written. Very easy to read, but while still being very informative. I'm not that knowledgeable about the technical side of art. I'm learning. I'm doing more research into it outside of this. But I'd say that the vocabulary is easy enough to follow while giving me a deeper insight into the workings of artists, visual artists. There we have Ham Spray. I realise I'm just going back through this a second time, but it's such an easy book to flick through, but also an easy book to actually read and, and delve more deeply into. Definitely recommend it. If you're a fan of Carrington already, this will help to enhance your understanding of Carrington as an artist. If you're completely new to Carrington, 
it's not the definitive guide, if you like. It's not going to give you all of the information about her life. And I feel like having a deeper understanding of who she was might enhance this experience. But at the same time, then, if you haven't read anything else about her, I'd say it's a pretty decent introduction. I think it portrays her character accurately. At least accurately for the Carrington, the way I perceive her to be based on her letters and bio other biographies and things. But either way, really thoroughly enjoyed it. Just wanted to give you a quick flick through it in case you were wondering what it was like and if it was worth it. But honestly, whether you're new to Carrington or you're already a fan, I'd say The Art of Dora Carrington is definitely worth checking out.